and I'm a senior here at Purdue with my major as sound for the performing arts. How do you typically begin your design process? So to begin my design process, we start with reading the script like multiple times through and then just to get a feel for like what the story is. And then we start reading like, okay, this sound obviously needs to be here. Like a phone rings, someone hits a recording of someone talking. Those are obvious sounds. And so we go in, me, I, <laughs> I go in and I just, um, write in what those cues will be and then as that progresses then scene change music underscoring and all of that what is something that you wish more people understood about sound sound design sound design isn't just pulling a sound and like it has to be of the time it has to be um you know the it has to be coherent the, it also has to be like the same coloring it has to be from the same show you can't have like violins in a show where there's no violins anywhere else so it really has to be like coherent I guess. What music genre inspired your design for In the Blood? The music genre that inspired my design for In the Blood has to be R&B, hip-hop, because it has this driving beat and it's really like keeping the play going because it's such a dark play that I really wanted it to have a strong beat going through and also I was thinking about you know where Hester is, she's a homeless person in the inner city so what type of music is she hearing and that's what I would consider. What is the importance of sound specifically for In the Blood? The importance of sound for In the Blood um, really tells you where Hester is. So you can see she's from the props, she's under something, but now you can tell there's cars passing overhead. There's, she's living outside, you can just tell that. Um, what are some of the challenges that you faced in designing during a pandemic? Yeah, some of the uh, challenges I faced was definitely just keeping, like, I was over a year that I was working on this show and it's just like, okay, does this still make sense? I'm pulling this cue, you know, three months later, does that still make sense? Is it still coherent with the rest of it? Um, that was an issue, but other than that, it was nice to actually really understand the show as it was. I didn't feel rushed for a deadline or anything. Aside from the pandemic, what has been unique about working on this production? What's been unique about working on this production is working with graduate students. Um, I'm the only undergrad that this is my design process and I, it's just a great opportunity to work with people that, you know, I feel like know so much more than me and it's good to like learn from them in that sense. And yeah, I feel like that was a really unique opportunity and, and to work with two uh, directors that aren't from Purdue. What has been an impactful discovery while designing for In the Blood? An impactful discovery from in the, the blood is um, just how I view people. I feel like this show really challenged me to not be so judgmental of people because I'm always like, you know, you, I go downtown Chicago, you see these homeless people and it's like, oh, like they must be, I don't know, <laughs> but like, you know, are they drug addicts? Are they, are they scheming me? You know, what's going on? And um, to see there's this raw that, you know, are we the ones put, keeping you down? Um, that really opened my eyes, I think. How does the sound evolve as the story progresses? Yeah, so with that, with the driving beat keeping you through scene changes, um, it's, you know, Hester has, Hester and Shirley both have this um, 90s feeling with them and everyone else is more of today, very modern, but at the end, um, there's a moment of tension and then there's no longer this beat. Um, Hester doesn't have that driving force in her life anymore. What is something that you hope audiences feel or experience as they listen to the music and in the blood? I really hope audiences feel the sense of Hester being a little bit behind the times um, because the difference between her and the other people. Um, with the Reverend, I made a nod at his profession with um, his confession, his profession with his confession um, with a choir in the background. And so I really hope people would be, could understand this like, oh, just little nods to um, the relationships. Thank you.